this video I'm going to show you how to make some VAL digraph bingo cards. VAL digraphs in phonics are uh, pairs of vowels with particular sounds, so for example E, 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 A, A, I, and so forth. Um, the software I'm using is called Bingo Card Printer. You can download a free trial version from bingocardprinter.com. This is the initial screen of the software. I click Create New Bingo Card Project. I'm now given a choice of what kind of bingo card I'd like to create. I can choose a blank bingo card where I uh, enter my own words, uh, an alphabet bingo card, numbers, um, events like bridal showers, baby showers, birthdays, holidays, which include Christmas, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, and so forth. Uh, school uh, subjects like English, geography, history, science, math, music, uh, many others. Uh, but in this particular case, I want to go to reading. Uh, now I'm given a choice of what kind of reading bingo card I'd like to create. I can also choose sight words, which are words children need to recognize by sight rather than signing out. Um, so they're mostly common words um, with unusual spellings. Or I can choose uh, various options relating to phonics. Um, and if I scroll down, I'll eventually find uh, vowel digraph words. I either um, click on it once and click uh, OK or double click on it. I'll click on it and then click OK. And I've now created my initial vowel digraph bingo card. So, for example, beam, which is B A E A in it, B, which has got B double E, boat, and so forth. These are the words. Um, I can uh, customize. Uh, this word, so for example, if I don't want the word feet to be there, I simply um, highlight it and click uh, delete. I can also add my own words. If I type in foot, for example, it adds it on the bottom of the list. You may notice the initial list is from templates in alphabetical order. Any words I add are on the bottom of the list, but if I want to, I can uh, resort the list back into alphabetical order for new additions. So foot is now in the right place alphabetically. Um, there are in fact quite a lot of options for customizing the word list, adding items, deleting items, adding multiple items, rearranging the order of items and so forth. Uh, but I'll say I'm happy with my word list. I'm now looking at customizing the bingo card. On the right hand side here is a sample bingo card. On the sample the words are in the same order as in this list. In the real bingo card though you'll see uh, every, word, every card contains a different combination of the words in a different random order. Um, but anyway I can also choose the um, size of the bingo card. I can make it 3x3, three 4x4, by 5x5, three, four by four, five by five, which of course is what I started with, or a larger one such as a 6x6 six six, or a 7x7. Seven seven. As you can see, I haven't got quite enough words to fill out these larger bingo card sizes, so I'll go back to 5x5. Five five. I can turn the heading off or on, the word bingo in this case. I can change the word of the heading, I can change it to make the words. I can choose whether or not to have the free space square on the bingo card. Again, turn it off or on. I could change the text a bit. There are also options for changing the colors and the fonts. Um, I can do that individually for different elements. So, for example, let's make the, uh, the bingo board, uh, checkerboard of white and light blue. We'll make the free space uh, pink. We'll make the heading perhaps uh, red with uh, yellow writing. And we'll make the lines uh, green. So a nice colorful bingo card. Click OK. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, if I wasn't happy, I could go back and change that. I can also change the fonts as well, so I could change the font of the heading, the squares, the free space, each one individually. But we'll say I'm happy with the appearance, I'm now ready to print. On the right-hand side here are options relating to printing. First option is whether or not to print the call list, which I could turn off or on. What a call list is, it's this list of words on a separate sheet in a random order. If you're a teacher and you're taking the role of bingo card uh, caller, uh, the bingo caller. It's very useful to have a printed reference to the words you're going to call out. Um, on the other hand, if you don't want it, you simply turn it off. Um, I'm going to leave it on because um, I want to show you what it looks like in the demonstration. There is another option in the program uh, which provides another method of choosing items for the bingo caller. Or, of course, you can do it manually. I'll show the other option in the program at the end of the video. It's called Call Game. Uh, and what it does is it chooses items uh, without pre-selecting them on the screen. So we'll st anyway, we'll continue with printing for now. Um, okay, how many bingo cards do I want to print on each page? I could put several bingo cards on a page, potentially save paper from printing a lot of bingo cards. Uh, the advantage of course saving paper, the disadvantage is I might have to cut the paper up if I want to give one bingo card to each player. And the second disadvantage is because I'm putting several bingo cards on a page, each individual bingo card will be uh, smaller than if I put only one on a page. So we'll leave one in my demonstration. Finally, how many bingo cards do I want to print? 
I can put as many as I need between 1 and 9,999. Normally I put in the number of students that I have in my class. So uh, I'm going to put in 50, a fairly large class, just to show you what it looks like. And I'll do print, or I'm going to do print preview, so you can see what the bingo cards and the call sheet look like. First page, call list, list of words in random order there. Um, so I could use that if I was uh, taking the role of bingo caller, and I've got my printed reference. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page, and then I'll do next so you can see the first bingo card. There we are. Here are the words arranged randomly on the bingo card. Second page gives a different bingo card. Third page a different one. Fourth one is different, and so on up to all 50 bingo cards. So it's a very quick way to produce lots of customized bingo cards with a very minimal amount of effort. I'll close the print preview, go back to the main screen. Uh, I mentioned this call game option. That's an alternative to using the call list. I click that. The software chooses one word at random, displays it on the right-hand side, uh, and it displays the current item and any previous items on the left-hand side. So when I click Next, I get a new current item, uh, which is now top, and the previous item is now second. I click Next, and, uh, and so on. You can see the new items are appearing at the top of the list on the left. Eventually, a scroll bar will appear, and I can go through my whole word list like that, calling out items as a bingo caller. But if I need to go back and check what I've already done, I can always do that. Okay, that's it for this video. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. Download a free trial from bingocardprinter.com. Software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows. The free trial is, of course, free. If you like it, you can register upgrade to the full version of the software, uh, which allows you to do everything you've seen in this video and a lot more besides. So download the free trial, see how you like it. Thank you very much.